Welcome to the game room. I am Jay and I am playing the Wheel of Fate. Let's go ahead and give this a wrong button. <laughs> Let's give this a shuffle. In the system, I will be playing today is Ooh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Nintendo Switch. Okay. Okay, I don't have that many games for the Switch. We got 16 right now. Go ahead and shuffle this up, give it a spin, and I will be playing, I'll be viewing Ocean Horns 2. Ocean Horns 2 Night of the Lost Realm. Okay. Never heard of this game. Ocean Horn 2 Knights of the Lost Realm. Okay, so. New game, of course. At the end of the world, I write this paragraph to be the last for Realm of Arcadia. They fought valiantly against this end, but they are powerless before the fate set by Kronos. The sands of time have run many times since these events were set in motion, and none who took part in the downfall of Arcadia was left unchanged. Ah. An observer. At a time like this, your appearance is surely not a coincidence. I will show you what transpired. But for you to understand the whole story, you must experience it yourself. This I can tell, though. It is a tragic tale of two eternal souls. It began on a dark and stormy night, and all within a lost realm. Now, since I never played the first one, I hope it doesn't affect the game. He said he would meet us here. <laughs> Is it really you, Mesmeroth, old friend? When I got the message, I could not believe it was from you. suffer because of my mistake. This child is for you to raise, Master Mayfair. Take good care of him. That child can sleep through anything. Show me another baby that you can hold out in the rain, downpouring, and they would just sleep through it. I don't think there is any baby that would do that. That's the same haircut 18 years later. Outcast Island, Kratos Edge, Archipelago. Retrieve a lockbox stolen from me many years ago by pirates. Its contents are vital for your knighthood. Good luck, Master Mayfair. Wait a minute. Does that sound like Link? Oh. Okay, I, I was about to say, is he going to spin? 
Okay. And we got spells. Load ammo. Give spell load ammo. Okay, so we got guns. That's interesting. And we got hot we got hot pieces. Okay, switch around. He's looking at this. Why? Did I lock onto that? Mr. Beater. He was wise belly exposed. Okay. Okay. So. This is pretty much a Zelda ripoff. Chop bushes. You got the same sound effects. Hit. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not made by the same company though. Um, we got spells and guns. So, well, there's kind of spells. There's spells in Zelda, so. Sounds so much like Link. If I put it. Oh no. Do I have to click on it? Oh, I got none, so I, I guess not. We got rupees too. <laughs> okay, well. Let's head to where I gotta go to. Sound, same sound effects and everything. That didn't turn around. I guess we can't jump. Stupid bug. I wish the camera would stay behind you. But... It's what's whatever. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's check out this funny looking bridge. Be a way for me to get around there. I saw an item. Okay, so I can climb up blocks pretty much. Oh, ammo. Bridge controls are rusty. Alright, let's go and find these pirates. What's up, bug? The only difference right now that I notice this has, um, I guess we're going down here. Old pirate hideout. Is that those XP? So I, I level up. Oh, that's a long drop. It just let me drop in there like that. Can I? <laughs> it's right there. I'm pretty sure that's it. 
I can't get to it. <laughs> I can't get to that. You look dangerous. Ah. Guess not. I guess I gotta get like a gauntlet or something. My shield? I don't have a shield. Okay, well, we're gonna get a shield later on, apparently. That's a boss door. There's the blue button. This must be the shield. Whoa. <laughs> it's not as like awesome sounding, you know, when you get something in Zelda, Legend of Zelda, it's like Now how do I use the shield? Oh. There we go. keep trying to get the camera to go a certain way and I keep <laughs> hitting the gun button. Damn it. I knew that was going to happen. Seems like when we, we block, we have a lock on button. Where you going? We think you're going, little beetle. You scared? Yes. Damn it, stop moving. Balski, okay. Oh. Oh, oh. It is so weird when he gets an item. Now I know there's a lot of games out there that's kind of like people be like, "Oh, it's a Zelda clone," but this is a really give a dead giveaway. The sound effects, the fighting, the I don't know. It's just a lot of it feels like Zelda. Okay, I had to pause the game. Um, the only really big difference is like have a gun instead of a bow. And you know the the combat system sucks compared to Zelda. They're like we already we're already kind of like Zelda, so. 
let's go ahead and try to change this a little bit. Oh no, shoot again. <laughs> Things gonna kill me. Saving progress is a boss. I don't know, it seemed like he did a different attack. You see, like he like did poke attacks or something, like in Cross Legend of Zelda. All right, what we got? What's this? Okay. Is this the chest? We got a golden key now. Captain's key. Wow. For some reason I thought that was explosives. I mean, it looks like it. Right, so how do I get out of here? Well, maybe I should try the ladder, right? <laughs> Come on. What? Okay, so you gotta push towards it to go up it. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Can it be m more like Zelda? I mean, come on. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Doing it wrong? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, I'm out of bullets now. So, am I stuck? Okay, sure. Strange, but it's fine, I guess. What is this thing? Oh my god. That sucked. That sucked a lot.
Show some room. We got the gold key. Probably might have a boss fight up ahead. So his weak part is his mouth because he showed that and he ducked it back underneath. What you got there? <laughs> ah, bullets. Thank you. Critical strike. Oh, some health. Sweet. Look at that. <laughs> Let's finish this. That was very simple. What? That's interesting. Got a little bit of a um, wind waker going on here. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Just me and my tugboat. Doot, doot. A night in training has arrived. I hope your trip went well. Did you find what I asked for? Good. Now, let's head home. We must be hungry. Let's eat, and you can tell me all about your adventure. 
He was an old man 18 years ago. He didn't when age you one bit. Knight, <clears throat> contents of this box will be yours, son. Lucky for you, those pirates never got the lockbox open. <laughs> okay, let's go through here. It's a beautiful day, and people want to spend it outside. It hasn't been this warm for weeks. Jen has been anxious to see you return. He was a little worried about you, to be honest. There he is. Say hi to him and come back to me. Hey, buddy. Hey, you're back. I'm glad you've returned safely. It was your first adventure alone, after all. And here you are, unharmed. We have every reason to celebrate tonight. You don't know about unharmed. I got blown up by a damn chest. A uh, bell. I blew myself up. Uh, here we are. Home sweet home. Just assuming I go inside. Yep. Good. You're here. Sit down when you're ready to eat. Alright, listen, walk on over the food. This is my food. I step on it. Finally woke up. It is your big day, boy. Hurry to the tower in the forest. Master Mayfair has a surprise for you. If you get lost, take a look at the yellow symbol on your map. You know, the day you've been training for. Don't forget to stock up at the vending. I'm off. See you later. All right. What's flashing red? I could splint. Splint. Yeah. Stamina bar just like Zelda. Skyward Sword, I think, started that. Come on, night. It'd be nice if my sprint was quicker. Stamina will last longer. Actually, it'd be very nice. I think I'm being chased. Get away from me. Were they like, okay, they do slow down. I think, I got four on me now.
Oh no! <laughs> so what happens when I die? Oh, oh, okay. Pretty much gotta take you guys on because if I don't, you just don't bug me. Ha, <laughs> get it? You bug? No, t no punny. It's whatever. I see this. Oh, shortcut. What's up? So we need an orb. Over that. Hey, what's up, buddy? I can't tell if he was dead or not. This this camera is a pain in the ass. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Sweet. Valley of Warden. Alright. Is that what my training supposed to be? Become a knight? Let me up. Nah. Wait, how did you? It feels just like yesterday that we came here to have a picnic and I carried you home on my shoulders. Today, you're going to have to walk back on your own. Okay, we need to find a way to open the door to the tower. I don't know why Master Mayfair closed it in the first place. He's waiting for us inside. I think I can help you with this one. Yeah, um... Jen! There we go. That was an easy puzzle. Owl statue? Why it has to be an owl? Come on, Wind Waker. I mean... Yeah, there's it's now in Wind Waker, isn't there? I know it's in the um Ocarina of Time, so Jen. 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 Oh. That's how I'm supposed to do it. They don't tell you you can throw the stuff. I had to look it up. Ignorance. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna have to cut a lot of if that only walls video could out. Talk. This place has stood here for hundreds of years, if not longer. Your sword. Okay. Um. All 
All right, we gotta leave her up there. Simple. Once I know I could throw this stuff. Why? I'd be killed for four. No. Could have won me sooner, but. Well, this is only a minor setback. Yeah, just gotta climb up the vines. That's all. Okay, let's continue. You want some of this? You jump down on the wrong guy. Okay, before I go in there, I'm gonna go up top. See what's up here. At one point, Arcadian soldiers were stationed here. But that was during the Dire Folk War, over 20 years ago. <laughs> Got it. Okay, bloodstone. So I need a key. Master Mayfair is there. No, oh, hey. You came back safe from your trip to Outcast Island and fulfilled your mission. You have finished your training, son. What could be a better stage for your grand moment than one of the famous beacons? This structure was not made by Arcadians. Beacons are much older, remnants of the world's unknown past. For centuries, this beacon has been a shelter for travelers, a lookout for commanders, and now simply a landmark for a remote town. Follow me. You have lived during the time of peace, but it wasn't that long ago when we fought in the dire folk war in the Outlands. I was there when the war ended, at the Riskborn Citadel. Inside a dark hall, we saw the creature behind the war, Shadow Maga. Its face was hidden behind a horned mask. My fellow Knight Sir Corbin and I did not stand a chance against the creature, but a young warlock who was with us possessed the power of magic. Even in the heat of the battle, he was able to concentrate on a difficult spell and defeat Shadow Maga. The only thing left of Shadow Maga was its mask. The young warlock picked it up and fitted it over his face. At that time, he took the name of Mesmeroth. I owe my life to that man. <clears throat> People celebrated us as war heroes, but it was Mesmeroth who ended the war, and people glorified him for that. Here, I want you to have this. It is my old caster. You are a knight now, but it is not always an easy path to follow. Remember that to live the life of a knight is to protect and serve the kingdom. Follow your heart in all your decisions.
Your new caster gun was created by the best Arcadian mages. If you gather enough different materials, your caster gun can create spells. Try it out. There should be enough useful material lying around. Give it a shot. Okay. Now, I was thinking back to Tori. It might have told me I wasn't paying attention that I had to. Okay, it might have told me about, you know, grabbing bells and throwing them, but I wasn't really paying too much attention. I don't like the toy mode. Alright, so what am I supposed to do? Oh, hi. Okay, it's not good. Find enough. a way to get that gate open. You can do it with your caster gun. Oh, I missed. I'll try that again. Oh, wait. Really? Oh, okay. Never mind. That was pointless, wasn't it? Oh well. So it became a knight. The only thing we really got is this castle gun. Which is interesting, I guess. I mean, it's for puzzles. Um, just like when you get the magic wand in Zelda games and stuff. coming from the sky. Let's take a better look from the top of my house. Okay. And its pilot. It looks like she's crashed into Warden Woods. You've got to save her. All right, well. Take the shortcut behind my hut and hurry. So, I'm going to end this here. I'm going to review it now. I might save this for later so I can play this game later. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Can I save it anyway or... Well, please say it's not bad. Of course, it's a Zelda clone. It has the you know puzzles. Um, it has like oh.
to die from a from a dummy. Okay. Yeah, it's a Zelda clone and has its stuff to it, like sound some sound effects, the fighting, the stamina. Um, fighting is a little different. There's really no lock on button except for when you block. There's no permanent lock on button that I know of because it's not. See, it locks onto it there, but then when I let go, it's it stops. Yeah, there's no permanent lock on button like in Zelda. Um, the camera it'd be nice if it stays behind you, but there's a lot of games I'm finding out that they don't do that. I mean, Mario 64 locked the camera behind you, and you can still control it. So it's a little bit of a downgrade from that, but on its own, it's right now it doesn't seem too bad I mean it has its own different kind of storyline as I was saying before I got cut off um sound effects some stuff from those other games stamina bar blocking you know all that stuff I mean you got a gun that we can put different bullets in it, just like flaming arrows, I guess. I mean, it's really feels like a cheap Zelda game. That's the cons. Uh, other part, it's it doesn't seem bad. It has its own unique to, uniqueness to it. I mean. We can swim like in Zelda, but what happened if I run out of stamina? You gonna save me? <laughs> okay. Well, the music's not bad. Um, I just wish it had its own lock-on system. I'll make it a little bit better controls with the camera I wish it was better but overall it's not a bad game so if you you know like Zelda games I guess this is a good one to check out replay value I don't know not gonna be high as like Breath of the Wild. Um, but overall, it's it's not a bad game. It's just a, a cheap Zelda clone, which tries to do its own thing, and it's not bad at it. I mean, you got story, you know, different design of story. I'm guessing an open world where we can travel with a boat. Um, not open as Breath of the Wild, but kind of like Wind Waker, I'm, I'm guessing. Anyway, yeah, it's not a bad game. It's a game I'll put on my list so I can maybe play it later. I wish it was like a save thing, but... I guess it saved when it, there we go saving in progress that's good um yeah I'm gonna put this on a list of games I'm I want to beat so overall not a bad game I'm gonna give it I'll give it a as of right now I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10 so I hope you enjoyed this review um, game's not bad, it's just a Zelda clone. That's pretty much all I can really say. <laughs> Sound effects right there. Um, yeah. It's probably had a lot more stuff to the game farther into it. If I play maybe a couple more hours, it's going to be maybe a little bit different than 
Zelda. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be different than Zelda. It's just going to be less of a clone, maybe. I don't know. But I'll find out later when I decide to play it all the way through. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it. And it's going to get 7 out of 10. Oh, that's awesome. Man, that hell is out. What?